Hey guys, okay, for this portion of the henna treatment, you're going to need two bags of Earl Grey tea steeped, extra virgin olive oil, a lime, and I'm using the Nepal Mahendi Henna by Gore. All right, this one has uh, nine herbs in it, and it's the best I've used thus far. So go ahead and empty your um, henna in a bowl. And you want to use a plastic spoon or a plastic spatula. Next, I'm going to add oil. Now, I don't measure, um, but I would suggest using about a one-fourth cup of oil to start. And you want to go ahead and you just kind of want to mix that in. It's still going to be dry, so it takes time. We're going to build up to a texture that we'll like. So you want to go ahead and just stir that together. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your um, tea, and I use black tea because black tea helps uh, to prevent shedding. I know some people do black tea rinses on their hair, so I like to use black tea. Black tea is also really good. Um, for bringing out the color in the henna. So if you are looking for more of a, a color, or a little tint to your hair, using the tea will bring out the color. So as far as the tea is concerned, the first amount I used is about a third of a cup. The second amount I used was about one fourth of a cup. Um, like I said, I don't measure. I am a texture person and I know exactly what texture I need for my henna treatment. So I kind of just play it by the, the feel of it, but I'm giving you guys a rough estimate of what I am using. So now um, just playing a game of, again, texture, I'm going to add some more extra virgin olive oil at this point. That's probably about another, you know, fourth of a cup, a little less than fourth of a cup. And I'm going to stir that in. And I'm going to do this for a while until I get a texture that I like. Now, because this is a two day process you don't want to add too much liquid um, to this you really just want to get a good consistency so that the henna begins to dissolve and it becomes very very smooth and that's the goal for the first night um, or the first part of the treatment is you just really want to get it to a great consistency where it's kind of getting all the oils and everything in it and it's getting to a great texture so the next thing I'm going to do is add lime and lime um, helps with shine so you want to go ahead and add some of your lime and it's okay if some of the lime pulp gets in there it's not a big deal you just want to make sure you get all your lime in there and then you just want to stir that all together now I don't know if you guys can tell now this is a consistency that is slightly thicker than a pudding and eventually that's exactly what we want we want like a pudding type texture so just keep whipping it together it is going to be lumpy and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cover your henna with some wax paper. And it's very important that you cover your henna and you allow it to sit overnight. And I think the reason why a lot of people complain about henna being too coarse or too harsh on the hair and ripping out the follicles is because they don't allow the henna to sit overnight. This is very important. My mom used to get henna treatments for years and they always prepped her henna the night before or the day before she came into the salon. So the next day, you're going to go ahead and take the uh, wax paper off. You're going to use a little more tea water. You're going to use two packs of Greek yogurt with honey. And then you're going to use two eggs. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and loosen up the henna mixture right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my first pack of Greek yogurt. Now, I like doing everything in stages. So I'm going to add the Greek yogurt. Then I'm going to add just a about three tablespoons of tea water and then I'm going to add an egg and I'm going to blend it and then once all of that's blended I'm going to do the process again I'll add the Greek yogurt um, and the egg and then at the end I'll see if I need any more tea water so that's just what I'm doing right now and I'm going to blend all of that together into a good consistency I'm actually going to shift to a larger bowl because I didn't realize how small my first bowl was but while I'm doing all of this I just want to tell you guys that it's very very important to make sure that your henna is completely dissolved because um, if not it is going to rip at your follicles 
So um, at this point, I'm in a deeper bowl and this is everything mixed together. This is the two packs of the um, yogurt. It is the two eggs. And as you can see now, I'm adding just a little more oil and I'm adding a little more tea water. Um, and you can see now that I have a pudding texture. This is exactly what we want for our henna. So you can either use a brush to apply it or you can funnel it into like an application bottle. Um, I actually did this around the time of this uh, Storm Sandy, so I didn't have everything I needed and I had to end up using a ketchup and mustard bottle. Um, so please excuse that, but that's why I had to end up using that. And then of course you're going to need some gloves because henna does stain. Okay guys, I'm just going to leave a couple of more notes at the end of this video um, to tell you guys a little bit more about henna.